Hi, I'm Sylvia from No New Creations, and today we're going to make a little toy for our cats. Uh, my cat Percy was very naughty and he stole the neighbor's cat's toy. So I thought the only way to put a stop to this is to make him one. So I got busy, and here is Percy's very own mouse. And I've made one for Tim Tom. And today we're going to make one for Annie. So I've given you the information on the measurements for your cutouts as in the PDF file. So we are ready to start. The first thing we're going to do is the ears. The first thing it's going to do is the outline. So that'll be the placement line for the fabric. Okay, now we're going to put the fabric on top. So what we're going to do, we got our two bits of fabric cut out. So you put the first piece down, right side facing up. And you put the second piece on top and the right side facing down. So the two right sides are touching. Right now it's going to secure it. Okay, the line in the middle, I'll show you. This is where we're going to cut it. And as you could see, I held the fabric. You can also tape it down, but I find it easier to just use my hands. Now we're going to remove the pattern from the hoop. And we're going to take all the stabilizer away and cut it around the edges and then cut it in the middle and then turn it inside out. I've removed the stabilizer and now I'm going to cut around leaving about, oh, I don't know, about an eighth of an inch around. I've used minky fabric because I find it's really easy when you make these little toys, nice and flexible. And here we're going to cut it right through the middle. I'm going to get my little stick here and turn it. This one here. And here's number two. So we're going to put these aside and now we're going to start the body. First thing that we're going to do is do the placement line for the fabric. So color is the guideline where we're going to put the face fabric. And we're going to put our little bit of fabric right on the top here. Right, I've placed the bit of fabric there and I'm also using some water soluble because I'm using minky and this is going to secure the top. The next color is going to be the nose, a little heart.
and now we're going to do the eyes. The next color is going to be the pupil and the outline of the eye. We're going to do that in black. Right, it's done the outline and the pupil, and now it's going to do the highlight in the eye, and we're going to use white for that. Okay, I'm going to take the water soluble off now because we're going to do the placement line for the ears. So just take that off. This is going to be the placement line for the ear. So we get one of the ears and you put a little pleat in it. Doesn't matter how you do it. So it's it's going to be sitting like that. And we're going to have to put the pleat bit down. So you turn it upside down and line it up. And put it over the placement line. And then you secure it. Okay. I'm going to do the same for the other ear. Right, that's done the second ear. Now we're going to get our fabric for the front and we're going to place that the right side facing down and cover the ears up so it's in line with that. Doesn't matter if you go a bit over it. And now we're going to stitch down there okay really you should use the same color as your fabric but I'm going to use a different color so you can see it now we're going to bring this down and we are going to do the name I've used some water soluble and make sure your fabric is over the placement line otherwise you're going to have a big hole in it okay off you go
It's now going to do the placement line for the tail. And here is the tail I made with some yarn. You can use a shoelace or a bit of ribbon, anything you like. But I've just made this with some yarn. And I've made two knots in it. And the reason I've done that is because it won't be easy to pull through the stitching. So make sure the end of the knot, I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? I'll take it out and show you. So here's the placement line. So we'll put the knot outside the placement line. Okay. So that's secured the tail and now we're going to put the back on. Now when you place the back, the ears are quite big so you they might get in the way. So what I do is make sure they are facing that way. But we're going to stitch a little bit around and we're going to stop and make sure that is the case, okay? So I've just stopped it here and I'm going to make sure these ears are out of the way. And I hold it with my finger. So we're going to go around a bit more. And then I'm going to shove the other ear the other way. Push it down. And hold it down with your finger and you just have to make sure it's not in the stitch line and off we go Okay, that's it. Now we're going to remove it from the hoop and remove the stabilizer and cut around the stitch line. I've removed all the stabilizer, so we're just going to cut around. Now we're going to turn. Okay. And here she is, Madam Mouse um, for Annie. Here's Annie. And now we're going to stuff her, and you can use some catnip. I don't have any, unfortunately. But fill it with some fiber fill and some catnip. And then we're going to close this seam with a lattice stitch. Here it is, all finished, and Annie's snuggling up to it. Our little Annie's only got one eye because she had an ulcer on it and we had to have it removed. But she's perfectly happy and she's quite content with her new toy. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.